Welcome back, comic book collectors and enthusiasts. My name is Brandon. You're watching Mon Comics. Hey guys, welcome back. Happy Friday. Uh, another week down in the new year, progressing towards uh, fulfilling some of my goals. It's very tough uh, when you know you base your channel on consistently showing books. Uh, last year, I was getting a, a lot of stuff I wanted, but there was a lot of stuff that maybe I didn't you know necessarily need as far as not having really focused collecting goals. And this year, I'm really sticking to them. And you know, I'm going to figure out other videos where I don't necessarily have to buy, be buying comics and ordering through the mail. Uh, like next week, I'm going to have uh, my top sellers of 2023. A big goal when I started this channel was to help people in my situation find sellers. There seems to be a lot of scammers out there, particularly on Instagram, uh, Facebook. Um, so I've got a, a, a nice list I've compiled of a, that's tried and true of some great sellers with great customer service, and uh, I'd like to share them with everyone in a compiled list. I, I, you know, I mentioned them throughout videos last year and shouted them out, but I just want to make a video that just talks about them, my experiences, what books I got, and so on, and, and help some folks out. Uh, so a couple things this week. I do have uh, some awesome uh, collecting goal additions uh, for this video, and I got a pretty sweet package. I went to get my uh, tattoo touched up by my uh, tattoo artist, Sean Evans, uh, who is also an author of a comic, Bitey, and uh, he had this Christmas package from me. So as my buddy Ryan, the Colossus Collector, says, Christmas, you know, that spirit can keep going all year. So, Sean, thank you. Uh, we're going to get into this. We're going to do one of these. Camera magic. The magic of the movies. Uh, so these uh, were gifted to me, like I said, and I'm just going to go through. I have no idea what's in here. Uh, guys, I've, I'm really happy my one-year anniversary of the channel is uh, on the 24th next week. I can't believe it's been a year. I have far surpassed anything I thought this channel would be. And I want to thank all of you who, who tune in and watch and comment and have become uh, friends of mine and uh, just support the channel. I really do appreciate it. If this is your first time watching, finding me, and uh, you're digging uh, the content, you've watched some other videos, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, hitting like, hitting the notification bell. I've been putting out a lot more shorts lately. I'm trying to do completely different stuff, be fresh for the new year. So hit that notification bell. You'll see when my stuff comes out. It'd be much appreciated. So uh, let's get into these books. I think I want to turn them upside down. And then I'm going to like shuffle them to the back like this so that the first one up. Okay, so first one is, oh, cool. Boom Studios Giant Monster. I mean, if that doesn't say Mon Comics, I don't know what does. Um, Steve Niles and Nat Jones on the creative team. Uh, really cool cover. Uh, going to be looking forward to reading that. Next, he has gifted me, oh, Giant Monsters number two. So that was number one. This is number two. What a sweet cover. Uh, I'm guessing it's about Giant Monsters. So that's pretty awesome. The third book. Oh. This uh, was recently uh, I won in a subscriber giveaway uh, from my buddy Mike over Casino Comics. It is Supernatural Thrillers number two, first appearance of the Invisible Man in comics, and uh, awesome Steranko cover. Awesome. Never heard that more than one. All right, next one. Oh, yeah. Monsters on the Prowl number 25, Colossus Lives Again. Uh, so these are reprints of earlier stories, and uh, Colossus, uh, I've read of him when he fights uh, Fin Fang Foom in Astonishing Tales, 23 and 24. Um, really cool. Sean knows the way to my heart. Ah, Swamp, Th Swamp Thing, um, number one. This is a, the, the Swamp Thing Saga. Proudly presents Swamp Thing Saga, number one. So Len Wein, Bernie Wrightson. Uh, love Bernie Wrightson art. That is awesome. Thank you, Sean. And the last book. Oh, nice. Black Panther. Number 12. Fantastic. He knows what I like. Thank you so much, Sean. This is really kind of you. Christmas in January still coming again. So thanks, Sean. I can't wait to give these a read. I appreciate your kindness. Uh, very cool of you. All right. So like I said, I'm trying to stay laser focused on my collecting goals. And one of them was working on my Fantastic Four run uh, going from, uh, you know, 20 and up. 
uh, towards 102. And uh, I was on uh, a live show. These were from two different live shows, but they're same seller. Uh, Joe from 360 Comics, who's an amazing Instagram seller. Nice guy, fun guy, does a great show, great fair prices. And he's also a YouTuber. You can find his link down in the description and uh, see what he's all about. Something I want to do, start doing with these comics, is I want to show, I think, besides the cover, uh, something else, you know, that was made to draw kids off the news rack. But once you open it up, the splash page, you know, the splash page art, art is amazing to me. So I'm going to start putting the splash page right here like this. And this is the splash page for... Fantastic Four, number 30. First appearance of Diablo. So this is from 1964 by Lee and Kirby. Esteban Corazon del Ablo was an alchemist from the 9th century, and he makes a deal with the demon Mephisto to extend his longevity. And uh, so he's able to live much longer. He actually sold his soul to him. So he is a practitioner of alchemic sciences and arcane magic. Uh, besides uh, what he can do with that, he can also affect his own body to change into different forms and appearances, and also a nerveless protoplasm, which can help defend him against certain attacks. So, uh, really cool. Ben Grimm is kind of almost human right there, probably from what Diablo is doing to him, but it is a key. All these are actually keys. Uh, you know, it's hard not to hit a key in this Fantastic Four run. So, issue number 30. Thank you, Joe. Issue number 33, a little splash page action there. So this is from 1964 as well, Lee and Kirby, first appearance of Atuma. It's not Atuma. Someone who I like, talked to agree that he looks like a bunny rabbit, just the way that this is framed. That's actually, I believe, his staff or sword, and, and that's his, his helmet. So he has uh, strength, endurance, and speed uh, far superior of a regular Atlantean. He is, in fact, an Atlantean and an enemy of uh, Namor, and uh, he's even more um, heightened with those in the water. So at first, he couldn't survive on land for more than 10 minutes without mechanical devices or chemical aid uh, until uh, he was... Gifted with surgical and genetic uh, enhancements uh, after his resurrection, because he was killed uh, at the hands of Dr. Doom. His strength is supposedly on par with Namor, and after those enhancements, he was able to do uh, self-propelled flight and also uh, live on land. So, really cool. It's one of those uh, photo covers, you know, where there's just uh, the, the characters are drawn in, but there's photos in the background. Uh, really nice to scratch them. We're off the 30s in my uh, collection. Next up, Fantastic Four 36. Uh, this one is from 1965 by Lee and Kirby, of course. This is the first appearance of the Frightful Four, uh, which is comprised of Wizard, Sandman, Pace Pop Pete, and Medusa, who you can see right here. So the Frightful Four is a team that, you know, goes with the Fantastic Four quite often. Uh, they capture them all except for Johnny Storm, and uh, he's able to uh, free the rest of them. And uh, really cool, you know, arch villain team uh, with all different various powers and backgrounds. So uh, this was uh, another key as well. So 36 edge of the run. And then the next one was Fantastic Four 38, again from 1965, uh, story by Stanley and art by Jack Kirby. Second team appearance of Frightful Four. And this one, uh, Pete Pot, Paste Pot Pete becomes uh, the Trapster. And uh, second appearance of Medusa, his, who is an Inhuman. Um, so, uh, really glad to pick up issue 38 as well. So to recap, uh, through Joe, through one cell over a couple weeks, I was able to cross Fantastic Four, 36, 33, 30, and 38 off my list. So staying very honed in on, uh, you know, my, my collecting goals. I may have some other stuff in the mail that's working towards that, but, uh, I guess uh, the, the dream is a lot of us are going to Terrificon. You've heard me talk about it. You've probably heard some other creators talk about it. It's going to be comprised of Ryan the Colossus Collector, Mr. Akins from What's on the Comic Rack, Mike from Lunch Money Comics, Ricky from All Sorts of Words. We're trying to get Brian, a.k.a. Big Me Fly the Comic Guy out there, Travis from Comics Limited, Limited Dan from Dan's X-Men Comics on Instagram, JP and Rohan, the team of the Absolute Game of Nerds. So we're all meeting and, and going to Connecticut to go to this con and I didn't put this in my collecting goals. It's going to be really tough, but I'm, I'm going to try really hard. I'd like to pick up a Fantastic Four, number one there. Uh, probably in like a 1.0 to 1.5 blue label. I've seen some prices. They have been dropping. I don't know if they'll be dropping or up at that time, but uh, I'm collecting cans, which, update, 
Cans for Comics. Uh, yes, I am back at work now, and the students have been gone, but I took all the cans. I had two bags, so so far my total is... That's right, $23 from two bags. Uh, that's, you know, was before the kids left, but now they're gonna be here, they come back this week on a consistent basis and I can check the bins every week. Every little bit adds up. I'm gonna try to get some side jobs and do whatever I can to try to make this happen. I've got uh, roughly six months to do it, six or seven months to do it. So uh, I'd really like to have that happen and um, it would be a dream come true. So guys, thanks for tuning in to another video. I appreciate everyone, um, the constant love and support. Uh, please be sure to tune in. It's Friday. It is Mon Comics Big Five Live. Tonight I've got Gene Malo. I've got Bleaker from Bleaker Street Comics, 22 Comics, and the Godfather himself, Hulkster, Immortal Biggie Shack. So that's at 9 p.m. tonight, Eastern Standard Time. Please come hang out with those guys. Uh, it's going to be a blast. Usually I don't drop a video and do a Big Five Live within the week, but let's make some content. So I hope everyone has a great, safe weekend. And until next time, keep reading those comics.